Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Gonna try a drink of something I picked up in a local shop that intrigues me. Uh, this is G uh, Dickie's Ginger Beer. And specifically ginger beer. I've never had that before. I've heard of it. And anybody watching from the UK must be thinking, well, yeah, we have that all the time, I think. Um, now, in Canada, the best known brand or similar stuff is... Uh, Canada Dry Ginger Ale, which I've had tons of. And I always assumed, well, ale is the same as beer. So uh, when I first heard of ginger beer, it was actually in this episode of Faulty Towers. Now, um, something to drink? Yes, I'll have a ginger beer, please. A ginger beer. G and a glass of fresh water. Now, I'm going to try this out, and I'm not going to have it with a glass of water. I'm just going to have some ginger beer and hope that it tastes good. Um, I've looked it up online. It is actually different from ginger ale. It's made by a different kind of process. So I'm curious to see what this tastes like. And what's kind of thrown me off is there's like this sediment at the bottom of the bottle. I don't know if that's good or not. I guess that's the ginger inside there. But is that normal? Like if I spin it, you can see it's swirling around in there. Yeah, it can be grim. But I got this from a, a kind of a nice gourmet snack shop type of a thing. So I assume that's supposed to be like that. That's uh, definitely well before it's uh, best before date. This stuff is made in Vancouver. So maybe this is not proper ginger beer compared to what they have in the UK. I don't know. Never had ginger beer before. So let's try some out. And usually what I like to do is put the plate down so that we can see the color coming through when I pour it in the glass. Given how light this stuff is, though, I don't think that's going to be much of a factor. All right, let's pop it open. Pour some out. I don't know if I should be swirling that around or not. Okay, there's still a lot of sediment in the bottom. It's fizzing a bit. Let's, um, let's give this a swirl and make sure we get some of that in there, too. Ew, I don't know. I hope this is good. Well, it looks like a sparkling lemonade, so I hope it tastes nice. Let's try it out. Cheers. That's very nice. Actually, you know what? It takes a while to hit you. Ooh, wow. Then it really hits you. Okay, yeah. It's like a lemonade, sparkly, with a very strong scent of ginger. My goodness, and that's not even including the sediment at the bottom there. Mm. Um, yeah, wow. That one took a second to really hit me, but it's, it's a little bit like um, if you have anything spicy, like hot wings or something, and you have had your bite and you're like, ah, oh, it's perfectly fine, and then it sneaks up on you. The ginger of that is really starting to hit me strong now. Whew. I can kind of see why in uh, Faulty Towers, Mr. Hutchison wants a glass of water maybe to wash that down with, but I don't have one, so let's have a, another good swig here. I think I would describe that as something that would go as nicely as a ginger ale. If I was sitting out on a patio, I wanted something with a nice bit of flavor. Ooh, man, and then the ginger hits you. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, so this is like uh, ginger ale, but for those who like uh, a bit of kick. Man, oh man. Okay, well, <clears throat> I am going to actually take the uh, the rest of it here with all the sediment, give it a good proper filling up here, and that way I'll get the really strong shot. <clears throat> Wish me luck here. See, it's initially it's just fine. It tastes almost like a ginger ale. Not quite as sparkling. A little bit less carbonated. And then you're chatting away. You're having a good time. And next thing you know, whoa, there it is. Yeah, okay, the ginger's hitting me now. So, yeah, uh, I guess that's the difference between ginger ale and ginger beer. It's pretty tough, pretty strong uh, flavor. Um, but it's, it's interesting. It's something I would have if I was ever somewhere that served it. But <clears throat> I don't know if uh, Dickies is going for a kind of a gourmet effect with that really strong flavor, or if ginger beer is supposed to be this strong. Ooh, you know, it's almost, I don't want to say it's burning my throat. <clears throat> it's not doing that, but it's, it's kind of like I took a big chunk of ginger and just chowed down on it. 
it's uh, very noticeable as it goes down. Interesting. Well, that's uh, an experiment that I had not anticipated going that direction. Here was me thinking this is just going to be like drinking a ginger ale or like a lemonade type of thing, but no. It's very distinctive. Nice and different, but strong. All right. Well, <clears throat> until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.